Hey guys, Laura Sanko here with Glory Kickboxing, women's super bantamweight champion and Invicta FC strawweight athlete, Tiffany Van Seuss. Wow, what a title. <laughs> it's nice to have you back here in Kansas City. Big night coming up on Saturday night. But, we, but before we talk about that, I wanna talk a little bit about your journey to this point. I know you had a couple of amateur MMA bouts, obviously hugely successful in the Muay Thai and kickboxing realms, but when did your journey to Invicta start? Um, it started about a year ago, or a little less than a year ago, um, when I was kind of coming to the end of, of my Muay Thai road with Lion Fight Promotions, um, and so I decided it was time to finally make that transition into MMA. Um, I'd been asked the question for years, when are you gonna transition, when are you gonna transition? I'm like, why don't you guys just enjoy my Muay Thai? <laughs> It's pretty awesome. You get sick of hearing it at some point, right? Yeah, I mean, if I had a dollar for every time I heard it, I probably wouldn't have to fight MMA anymore. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I just I, I felt like it was the time, the right time to to transition and test myself because I had I had you know proven that I was the best Muay Thai fighter in the world multiple times, and I was ready for for another challenge. And um, then it was time to to transition. Uh, when I had done it earlier, when I had my my couple amateur MMA bouts. Um, I, I was still an amateur in Muay Thai as well, and I just kind of wanted to jump on the MMA bandwagon. And um, so I kind of rushed into it and then made my way back to just doing Muay Thai and, and found a lot of success there. And then, um, and then made the transition for real, for real to MMA. So you had been exposed to MMA for a while. I know you trained a little bit with Carlos Sparza, Jessica Penne. When did you finally buckle down and really start focusing on MMA training in anticipation of making your pro debut? Uh, I would say probably about a year ago. So in terms of relation, relating that to your first fight, how much, how much, I guess, specific training did you have before we saw you in September? I think my, my camp or my specific MMA training specifically for that fight was maybe three to four months. So you decide to take the plunge, take an Invicta fight, big step up. You drew a very tough opponent in Cal Holiday, really tough stylistic matchup for you given her wrestling credentials. And you had some great moments in that fight, but her wrestling definitely did give you trouble. When you watch that fight back, if you've watched it back, what do you think? First couple times I cringe, you know, no one likes to see themselves lose or, you know, just be handled like that, you know? Yeah. Um, but now I can watch it and laugh and say, oh, I know so much better now. Like I'm so much more prepared now. Um, it's hindsight's always 2020, you know, look back and you think, oh, I would have done this differently or that, but uh, I wouldn't have, you know, the moment was the moment I did what I did and uh, I'm, I'm a better fighter because of it now. Van Seuss though, very composed, been a lot of trouble, oh, and now she that. rolls into the guard of Cal Holiday. Van Seuss trying to make up for lost time. Well done by Van Seuss, really showing a well-rounded game. Nice Nicely play. done, push kick to the face there. Oh. Hard right here by Van Seuss, Holiday in trouble. And she sees she's going for that takedown again. It was so successful before. Can she get her back to the ground? She can. You were talking earlier about how you had a specific thought of your dad as that fight was finishing. What was that? Yeah, I was getting choked out. I was gurgling. My face was purple. <laughs> and um, I was like, I'm just going to go out. I don't care. I'm going to go out. And I was like, oh, no, dad's here. I don't want him to see that. So then I tapped. <laughs> very thoughtful of you. Very thoughtful yeah. of you. So, so given that, you know, where... Where do you see yourself going with Invicta? And I'm going to get to the, your next fight coming up soon, but where, what's the future for you with Invicta, you think? I just want to keep getting more experience in the cage. Like like I said, um, my last, my first fight with Invicta was my first fight in a cage. My, my other two, my amateur MMA fights were both in rings. So um, just getting used to, to the different element of being in the cage uh, and just all the different scenarios that come up in an MMA fight. You know, there's so many more moving pieces to it with, with the added aspects of the grappling and the jujitsu. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think the more time I can spend in the cage, the more fights that I have with Invicta, honing my skills and getting more experience, the better. After that loss, was there ever a part of you where you said, okay, check that box, not my thing, or did you immediately just want to get back in there? I was so mad. I was so <laughs> mad at myself. I was so sad, but there wasn't for one second uh, a moment where I doubted myself. I just thought, hey, you're the new kid on the block now, you know? Um, I come from a really extensive striking background. I'm world-class there, but I'm a beginner here. It's like, it's kind of hard to be a world-class beginner mm -hmm. because like you carry in certain expectations sure. for yourself. Um, so, I mean, of course, it's devastating to lose, especially like that. 
But, you know, like I said before, it made me better and it just motivated me more, like, to prove myself because I did have um, so many good moments in the fight. You know, I showed a lot of, I showed my where my potential is. Mm -hmm. And um, through my training since that fight, I'm starting to get closer and closer to living up to that potential. Well, we'll be turning the page on that fight Saturday, looking to your next opponent. Another tough test in Christine Ferreira. Thoughts on her as an opponent? I think she's a great opponent. Um, I know she's she comes from a striking background as well, a Muay Thai background. Um, she's got a good number of amateur MMA fights, so again, more cage experience than me. Um, but that doesn't matter, you know, because you know I'm here to fight. I'm here to strike. I'm here to grapple if she wants to grapple. I'm I, I'm a more well-rounded fighter now than I was last time you saw me in the cage. So I'm ready for wherever the fight goes. Does part of you want to wrestle a little bit just to kind of prove a point to maybe some naysayers? Yeah, maybe a little <laughs> if bit. It, if it's there, it's there. If not, if not, right? Yeah, like I said, living in the moment, being in the moment. If it happens, it happens. Um, if not, that's fine too. Well, thank you so much for taking a second to talk with us. Really looking forward to your fight. Guys, you are not going to want to miss Invicta FC 23 live here on UFC Fight Pass.